to, for a moment, uh, you know, remind ourselves that, you know, the objective is to ensure that everyone has a secure, sustainable home, okay? What, Pakistan travellers, we can't say everybody. No, excuse me, Senator. It's an inequality to say everybody when we're not including everybody. It's an inequality. Senator Fitzpatrick. Well, don't say everybody. Uh, you got an ample, ample opportunity. It's some You got ample opportunity. Senator all, Fitzpatrick. Some, some were excluding the travellers. Senator Fitzpatrick. Okay. So, um, I think it is really important that we remember that we are. Our intention is to ensure that everyone, everyone has a safe and secure home. And it is, I absolutely reject the presentation that this legislation seeks to discriminate against any citizen. I just reject that entirely. No, excuse me, no interruption. She has a right to put her case. Excuse me. No, I'll, no, I'll have to, we cannot sustain this. Now, this is not, we're not outside on the back of a lorry. Now, please, Senator Fitzpatrick. I, I, I absolutely reject the fact that the, the, the assertion, I reject the assertion that this legislation is discriminating against any citizen. It's not. And it's really important that we don't have a falsehood go out of this House asserting that the legislation is discriminating against any individual or any group in society. It's not. The legislation does not discriminate against any individual in society. The legislation, the legislation treats all renters, all citizens equally. I want to talk about, the, uh, for a moment, the issue of um, withholding of rent. Um, and it is, in, it is important that this legislation doesn't discriminate against any member of society. And it's important that we remember that landlords, small landlords, are citizens as well. And I want to just share with you, Minister, a real-life example in the real world of a landlord and their experience with a tenant withholding of rent. And this was a man in his 60s who, uh, at that stage in his life, um, uh, entered into a personal relationship with somebody else and moved out of his home and rented that home legitimately, registered the property, uh, paid uh, or, or charged a, a fair market rent, um, and uh, was happy to make his home available to somebody else on a, on a, a uh, fully legitimate uh, rental basis. The relationship with uh, the personal relationship broke down. Um, he also was diagnosed with a terminal illness and needed to move back into his home and, and, and serve notice. And in the interim, uh, the tenant had been withholding rent over a prolonged period of time, had actually been uh, advertising the property on Airbnb and generating many multiples of the rental income from Airbnb and went to the RTB, and this is the point that I really want to make, the RTB <coughs> took more than 12 months and only actually after my intervention did we actually start to get some satisfaction. Now, that was a man who was, in, you know, ha had actually done the good thing in terms of making his home available uh, on a rental basis, because he, he, he didn't need it and saw that there was a need there, had maintained the property, had provided it at a fair rent, had complied with all of the regulations, when he himself personally became ill and needed his home back, and still complied with all of the regulations, even though his property, the, the rental, he, he had had his obligations to pay his mortgage on that property in the absence of receiving a rent and at the same time witnessing the abuse of his property and it being rented out for many multiples. That's a real life example. The RTB shouldn't have taken as long as they did to resolve that issue and the RTB shouldn't have needed a public representative to get involved in it. So the point is this, the RTB need to step up their act. They really do need to step up their act for tenants and for landlords because we need to ensure 
that we do have a secure, sustainable rental uh, market. Gormagath. Uh, uh, 